already know we wouldn't be right it wouldn't be right if i didn't drop them videos back to back back to back i said it wouldn't be right if i didn't drop them videos back to back back to back you feel that you feel that good vibes and good energy coming straight your way go ahead get your wine your tea your lemonade your hennessy your cognac whatever it is that you need so we can go ahead keep back relax and have a whole vibe because you know your girl be vibing you feel that you feel that i already know that's good vibes and good energy i feel it peace love and happiness the abundance is just flowing because it's so good Oh, it's so good, y'all. I am Lynn or East Star Love. So, yo, thank you so much for liking, coming, subscribing. Thank you so much for tuning in and vibing with me. Um, thank you so much for just the good vibes and the good energy. Like, it's up from here. It is up. Like, we finna go up, up, and away. We finna take off. Watch us as we watch us as he oh we about to be doing big things or oh, whatever so y'all i know your girl i get tired of talking i'd be like me i don't want to talk i just want to see it happen i'm just ready for the results i'm ready y'all like i'm ready for the results like i'm ready to get my hair done and you know what i'm saying pamper myself and just I'm ready to just see it within the reality. But right now, I can honestly say I see it first in the mind. So, ooh, it's just like uh, manifesting and, and writing it down and doing what needs to be done. So, therefore, it can come to that reality. It is a process. It's, it's a process. And trust and believe, um, one of the things that I have been really tested on is patience like i've been tested on my patience like i've been so tested on my patience where every times i'd be like oh come on now come on <laughs> like i i mean like your girl is ready like i'm ready to go get in my car and take off i'm ready to be going to the airport and you know i'm ready to go to jamaica i'm ready to go to hawaii i'm ready to travel and see the world like I am ready. I'm ready to get that passport and just I'm ready to have a girls trip. Like, what's up? You gonna you gonna take the girls trip with me? I mean, cause we can ride out and be gone. Like, I'm ready. Like, I'm ready for big things. I'm ready to have a friends giving and just be around people that's loving and compassionate and outgoing and you know high frequency that good energy like that energy that puts you to where like even if you might be feeling a little down you just you can't even stay there because that high frequency is just like i feel better like i don't know what to happen but hey you know like I have really learned, like, put yourself around people that have that high energy, that that soul full of life and light. Man, it makes a difference than being around people that's living that stagnant life and all they want to do is sell weed and all they want to do is be posted on the corner and all they want to do is the same old thing every day. Look, I ain't knocking you. If that's your life and that's how you choose to live and it works for you, it's to its own. Hey, I ain't coming for you, so don't come for me. But I'm just saying, like, I'm ready to take off. Like, I'm ready to catch flight. I'm ready to, you know what I'm saying, be making these gift bags. And I'm ready to be, you know, um, honoring these orders and stuff. Like, I see so many big things happening within my life. But it's just that process. It's that process that just be like, oh, come on. Like when like how much will i have to sacrifice you know so how much time how much work how much stress how much headaches how much tears how much hardship do a sis gotta go through oh i know i know it's not just me have you ever felt like that have you ever felt like um now you know time is flying back i thought i would be married i thought i would be in love i thought my life would just be, I thought I would be traveling the world and taking flights and having friends giving and taking girls trips and on a honeymoon and life is just so beautiful. And I am here to say life has done me the opposite. Like 
And I just be like, what what is it? I mean, is it me? Like, do I do I need to do something different? Like, am I too hard? Are my standards too high? Like, I'm not asking for that much now. Like, come out, you know. But at the same time, I just wanna say dating today is is something else. The 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 dating life today is it's something else because you have some unique people in the world. Like <laughs> you have some unique people in the world, and it just be like, man, who taught these people? Who raised these? I'm convinced these people raised themselves. I'm convinced the TV raised folks. Like I, I'm convinced that their people just set them in front of TV and left them there, and when they got 18, they came back for them. Like. It's just like, what in the world? Like, I mean, I know for myself, my grandmother, y'all, sis had me washing them dishes. And I used to be mad. Like, I felt like my grandma was picking on me. Like, she kept me washing dishes. And I would just be so mad. Like, oh, why she choosing me to wash the dishes? Like, why, out of all people, why she calling me? I'm in here watching Lifetime. I'm in here watching BT. I'm watching 106 in Park. Like, girl, I'm watching my show. Why are you bothering me? You know, and <clears throat> excuse me. Now I can say I, I, I'm I honestly grateful that she pulled me out of the room and she had she gave me a duty, a chore to do. You know, because I can say within my life, it helped. Like, it helped me not to just wash the dishes because... I throw them mugs in the dishwasher. <laughs> me and the dishwasher, we best friends. Don't come for me. If you wash your dishes, I'm proud of you. But, uh-uh. I'm putting them in the dishwasher. The dishwasher gonna wash them dishes. Because I don't want to wash another dish. Even though still sometimes, I still just go ahead and wash the dishes. and then, Instead of just putting them in the dishwasher. But, anyways. Just saying, like, her... Um, pulling me out the room where I was comfortable and where I was good and I was all right and sending me to go do something, it helped within my adulthood because now it has just taught me that sometimes, you know, the divine, the most high, the God, you know, uh, will put you in a situation to where they'll pull you out of your comfort zone and put you somewhere where you're uncomfortable. Put you somewhere where, you know, uh, where everything was all milky and honey and beautiful. And then put you in a situation where you hot, you sweating, you tested, you aggravated, you mad. You in a whole company of people that you ain't you don't really care for. And man, when I tell you, that's what real work come in. Like, that's what the real results and that real, that real test and that challenge, like... That's what a real you show up. Like, when you put in that test, when you out in that heat, and when you got to get up early in the morning, and when you got to really, you know, make them moves that's uncomfortable, that's when the truth really show up. Like, it really show, like, how bad do you really want it? Like, do you really want this change? Do you really want to be a billionaire, a millionaire? Do you really want this house? Do you really want this marriage? Do you really want this relationship? Do you really want to break these chains? Like... You got to put in the work and you got to be willing to be uncomfortable. And when I say like, I have had moments in my life where I've been so uncomfortable. I'll be like, oh, help me. I'm uncomfortable. I am around folks that's not clean. Like I'm around people that are not organized. I'm around folks that don't care. I'm around folks that are always negative. Like, it, I mean, those different seasons, those different situations have taught me. Like, it's taught me to show up. Like, you got to show up for you. You got to be willing to get up, get out, make it happen. You got to be willing to get in that ring and fight for yourself. Like, you got to be willing to show up and do the work. Because if you don't, what results you going to get? You ain't going to get none. Because if you're not playing that lottery, you're not going to win. How you going to win a lottery and you're not playing? Hello? Like, it's just not going to happen. How you going to lose the weight and you're not putting in the work? Like, it's just not going to happen. How you going to tone your body when you're not working out? It's just not going to happen. You know, I mean, it's just like, you can take shortcuts within your life, but you're not going to get the results that you want. You can try to cheat your way to the top. You're going to get set back. 
Because within reality, you got to put in the work. You got to put in the work. The work got to be put in. So I'm not going to keep you because you know your girl go on and on and on and on and on. But I just want to say to you, keep going. Get up, get out, keep pushing, keep reaching, keep going for it, and your time will come. I'm not for everybody. You're not for everybody. We're not for everybody, but just right for somebody. Oh!